Well, today we get to continue our story of Margaret Granger, the young Australian teacher who was looking over the world for something meaningful for her life. And today we see her becoming a missionary and the amazing things that God has done. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've seen so many times that the level of blessing and miracles that God does in a life is directly related to the level of sacrifice and commitment that the person makes. And so today we're going to see some amazing miracles that God has done in Margaret's life. near-death experience had caused Margaret Granger to question what she was doing for the Lord as a teacher in Thailand. After serious reflection, Margaret felt strongly that her destiny was intertwined with the Thai people, although what that would look like long-term was unclear. So God healed me and, you know, just so thankful for that. Um, but, you know, your friends and family love you and they care about you. And um, I had people begging me, please don't go back to Thailand, please don't go back to Thailand. You know, especially my, my dad, he was like so scared that you know, if I went back to, to Thailand that you know, I might not come back again. And, and so people were like really saying, do you really have to go back to Thailand? You can teach in Australia. But I knew that Thailand wasn't just about teaching. I knew that Thailand was more about what God had a plan for my life. I felt fulfilled there. I felt like I had a, um, um, a purpose there. Against the advice of her friends and family, Margaret left Australia and headed back to Thailand with the promise that she would give herself time to recuperate from the life-threatening illnesses of the past several months. So I did go back to Thailand. And, um, but I did take it easy for a while and I stayed under the ministry of, a, of another for another 12 months and just re, you know, really regained my strength and regained my purpose and just you know, spent time putting my hand to whatever God put in front of me, whether it was big or small. And then about 12 months later, God said, I want you to open up your own ministry. What began as an outreach into the local prisons soon expanded to caring for local children in need. And so I started up my own uh, ministry. We gave it the name of Hand to Hand, and the meaning of it was that, you know, we were extending our hand to the poor, and it was God's hand on top of ours that was leading us and guiding us and supporting us and, and giving us provision. And so I continued to do the prison ministry, and that's all I was doing. And as I opened up the doors, these children would arrive, and they were hungry. And so I would feed them the sandwiches I was making for the prison and dress them in the clothes that I had collected for the prison. And then I started up a children's ministry program on the nights that I was making sandwiches for the prison. And then that turned into a kids club on a Saturday. Dozens of children were being ministered to each week until Margaret realized these were the kids represented in the vision God had given her 15 years earlier of children fed, clothed, financially secure, and full of the Holy Spirit, who were ministering to their community. Margaret felt it was time to launch a new foundation, a free school that could feed, clothe, and minister, as well as educate children from some of the most broken backgrounds imaginable. I had no plans to open up a school and, and so we opened up a school and then those children from the families, they needed to be fed so the slum project started and then we realized that out of those families there were older children in the slums who weren't going to school and out of that started the scholarship program. Hand to Hand Ministries continues doing prison ministry and slum outreaches and Margaret eventually left her job as a teacher in an international school to concentrate full time on the ministry. Anything that has happened in our ministry is definitely God because it wasn't me leading, it was God has brought us faithful people who have served faithfully and so thankful for the staff and the volunteers that have been faithful. So thankful to God that you know He has brought all of the provision that we've needed, not just financial but people and you know solutions to problems and, and so it's just been completely amazing and, and leading to you know, at the, the beginning of this year, being able to buy our own building. 
The man wanted 8 million baht for it. We had 4.5. <laughs> he eventually agreed to 5.5 million baht. We bought the place and we had no money to renovate it. But you know what? God knew a man who had a heart to serve. And um, Winston from the Riviera Condos, he came along and he said, I will fix everything in your building completely for free. We're entering into a whole new season now, so we now own our own property and you know, God just keeps leading us. We'd love to start helping single moms more and, and finding them jobs because the whole focus of Hand to Hand is how to keep the family together. Once a woman without purpose, Margaret's life has been transformed by her relationship with Jesus Christ life-threatening illnesses could not keep her away from a vision that has helped transform the community God has sent Margaret to and the countless lives she has touched with his love. To me, Margaret is such a perfect example of the way God can take any life and totally turn it around and make something so very significant that it ministers to hundreds and thousands of people. And um, as we're talking to you today, I want you to consider that. What is the ultimate goal and purpose of your life? What is it that God can get you to do? If you can look on the horizon and, and see the expanse of possibilities that God has for you. And I want you to stay connected to us and uh, contact us through our website, wmcontinuum.com or www.victoryasia.com. And, uh, and make sure you get a hold of all the amazing things that God is doing and see how you can connect and tie in to your great commission destiny. So thanks for watching Continuum today and we'll be back next week for a new action story from this side of the Continuum.